Fernando, it's a pleasure to get the chance to speak to you this morning. You've just of come off stage. Uh, my heart was in my mouth during a rehearsal. It is incredible to watch you do what you do. Thank you, thank you. How long have you been training for? I started as a gymnast first. I uh, was in competitive gymnastics uh, while I was a kid. Then I went into the dance world. Wow. Combining both forces, both disciplines, I started getting more into circus. I've been doing circus for about 10 years now. So with Cirque du Soleil, I joined in 2009. Uh, I've been in two other productions before. So this is my third one. It's the first one that I'm the main character, uh, you know, such as an important role. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the first one. I've been here for about two years now, a little bit over. So can you tell us a little bit about this show, Verikai? Verikai talks about the what happens to Icarus after he flew too close to the sun. It's a, it's a forest full of like uh, crazy magical creatures that Icarus uh, falls from the sky and then all these creatures are confused. They don't know what this is, so they're trying to like, attack him, but then they realize that he's not dead, he's alive, so they all try to help him back up because he loses the power of his legs. And on the way he falls in love and I can't tell you anymore, so you have to come see the show. So it's pretty <laughs> dramatic. It is, yeah. It's a very dramatic show, very fun, very colorful. It's a really, really big emotional and full of like crazy acrobatics and all that stuff. And of course, since Cirque du Soleil mm -hmm. began back in Quebec in Canada in 1984, it's now become a global phenomenon. At the moment, how many employees are there around the world? Uh, employees, there are about 4,000. Um, we have 18 shows uh, currently running right now. Um, performers are a little bit over 1,000. It's a great big family and everybody supports. We all le left our lives back for where we came from. so. It's a good support to actually have people here that are also going through the same thing. What an amazing experience though. <laughs> and you've just taken us backstage here and this is, I suppose, the props area, the props department. What, what are we looking at? Yes, this is some of the costumes um, for animation. This is the beginning of, of the show. Um, this is the costume of the clown, one of the clowns of the show. So they're, they're bespoke specifically for this show. Yes, everything is made specifically for the person. So like my costume of Icarus is very like, specifically made for me for my act that I do in the show. Oh, let's have a look at it. It's very, uh, very comfortable for what I do in the show. Of course, because like, comfort has to be key when you're hanging upside down from a height. Yes, just to help a little bit so that what we do on stage, which is so risky, gets a little bit easier. Um, this is one of the crowns I wear in the show. Um, at the end, there's a big procession, there's a big wedding. So this is the crown that I wear at the end. That's, is it heavy? No, it's very light. It needs to. Right. How does it stay on you when you're upside down? Because it's specifically made for me. So yeah. it molds in your head. Obviously, yeah. my head's much bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> no surprises there. It's beautiful. Yeah. And these masks behind you are kind of spooky. They are. There's, there, um, Icarus goes through a lot of battles through the show. He's le relearning how to walk again and gain the power on his legs. Um, so he's going through a transformation and all these characters uh, appear in different scenes on the show. Now There's you also have to <coughs> practice an awful lot to That's be at the top of your game and you have a special area around the back which is where you do an awful lot of your rehearsals. That's um, very true, conditioning, uh, rehearsals, uh, yeah we watch the shows, let's go see it. Huh? I'd love to, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Fernando, I think it's really fascinating that as the actual performance is taking place and the audience are at the front, you're back here doing a mini performance. That's very true. Uh, we all have our designated like scheduled times to warm up. We usually take the time while the show is happening. If, if for example, I'm the first act, so I have to start before the show starts, but everybody kind of aligns up to start warming up. Uh, for example, this is a Russian swing, which is one of the final acts, which is a really, really big act of the show and they're training here throughout the whole show a little bit. And so how long would you rehearse each day that there's a live show on? I mean, are you at it for hours beforehand? Uh, usually, yes. I, I try to be here around three or four hours before the show. There's a little bit of conditioning, a little bit of warm-up, uh, stretching that I do before the show. But your routine is anything but easy. Uh, having seen it on stage, I was blown away. What is the most difficult part of it for you? Is it that you're so high up or is it the turns? The, the, the height is really not a problem for me. I've been doing it for so long now. I'm so used to it. It's like walking. You know, you walk all your life. It's, it's very normal now for me to do it. Um, the most challenging part is to include so many disciplines because I not only am doing aerial work, but I'm doing a little bit of dance, a little bit of contortion, and a little bit of uh, acting throughout the, the seven minutes that my act is. So to involve all that and to keep the cardio going and to keep the energy up, it's, it's very, very complicated, but it's so much fun. And once you're done, you're like, 
Ah, I told everybody what happened to this Icarus, you know. But Fernando, I didn't see any safety harnesses in any of those rehearsals. So where are they? They don't exist. That's what that's what's so exciting about coming to see a Cirque du Soleil show. This this is what you want to see. It's it's my nature to be up there and to make you everybody, the whole audience, like lose themselves and like, wow, this this kid lives there. Like that's his life. Like so that's that's the special thing about Cirque du Soleil. Well, you were very convincing and I want to wish you the best of luck on opening night tonight Thank here you in so Dublin. Much.